Hey there, Leos. How you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, like, share, subscribe, be a friendly YouTuber. Oh, this is how I feed my babies and keep the lights on over here. Anyways, y'all, I am an intuitive art reader. I'm going to give you a more detailed reading than most YouTubers do. I'm also Italian by blood. We invented the tarot. And P.S. Don't use it just for love relationships. It's about way more than that. Anyways, guys, um, if you want a personal reading, info's in the description box below. Books for September are open as of today. They fill up super fast. So if you want that, go ahead and email me. Let's do a love connection reading today. You versus them. You and your person of interest. We're going to look at past, present, and future energies. Plus energies towards the connection with y'all. Pulling two sets of cards for you guys. I'm going to use the Egyptian tarot. Tarot Nefertiti for the first one. Recent past, Five of Swords. Not my favorite energy. No fun. With the Nine of Cups. Why would you? Well, I get it. Kind of. Let me clarify. Two of Cups in the current situation. Yep, because you're really super in love, whoever this is. That's why you were fighting dirty. With the Ace of Wands. Good God. And Passion. Four of Cups in reverse. We're not going to be ignoring this gift anymore. <laughs> With the Seven of Pentacles. Hell yeah. What the hell is this? A positive reading on my channel? King of Wands. All right. They were just a little too overbearing. Somebody was just putting in way too much effort here. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Control issues much with this side, all right? This person like saw what they wanted. I don't know whose side this is. Take it as it resonates, all right, Leos? Um, Whoever was on this side over here knew exactly what the hell they wanted when they saw it, all right? They had the nine of cups. That's like your happily ever after, your fantasy relationship, your wifey, husband, whatever. Everything you've ever dreamed of emotionally. Um, problem is like they put in a way too much effort here. They show up as the king of wands towards the connection, which is like, yeah, I want this. I'm going to pursue it. Um, yeah, that's your energy, Leo. I'm super passionate. I'm going to get what I want. But the problem is, is there was like behind everything. There was like five of swords energy. All right. Five of swords energy sucks air energy it is like manipulating a circumstance or a situation doing things dirty like not playing with the rules not following you know good sportsmanship all right it's like um deceiving trickery awful shit all right to get your way somebody knew what they wanted and they wanted you know the other person here and they were doing any and everything to get that including shady shit that's the problem current situation still a lot of love and passion here two of cups with the ace of wands that is like big time. I want you, I want to wife you up right now. Um, two of wands in reverse though. They like um, have no idea how to reach you. They feel like they don't have any options with this connection anymore. They're feeling like um, it's not going anywhere. Like no one's doing anything. Like um, they have no clue how to approach you at the moment. Coming up in the near future, they're feeling your absence in a big way, all right? They're starting to realize like what they actually missed here and they're really, really wanting to invest in this. Um, they're letting go of something though, energetically. I feel like they're almost feel like you've abandoned them. It's kind of like they're stewing in some regret right now. Let me pull the other side and see what's going on. I don't really get the ending here yet. I'm gonna have to clarify. Italian tarot for this side, Botticelli tarot. World card in reverse for the recent pass for the other side. Along with five of wands in reverse. Y'all had double fives popping up in the past. That's shitty energy. Lots of conflict with the two of you. You got the sun right now in the current situation. With the king of cups. Wow. Near future, five of cups. What the hell? Someone might have found somebody else. Fool in reverse. Towards the connection in the recent past, Page of Swords. Ace of Swords right now. Six of Wands. Someone's getting noticed, but for the wrong reasons, all right? What the hell is going on here? It's at the bottom of this. Four of Pentacles in reverse, both of y'all. Three of Wands with the Knight of Wands, both wanting to move toward each other. Queen of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Wands.
What is this ping pong game that y'all play? Back and forth and back and forth and reviving this. This is something that y'all have, um, this is a relationship y'all keep going in and out of, in and out of. Y'all have broken up and gotten back together many times, all right? Many times. There is a lot of love here, all right? A lot. The problem is neither one of you ever learn your damn lesson, ever. You also, the reason these four of pentacles here are on the bottom of both of your decks, because if you two are ever going to be able to make this work, like in the real world for you, you have got to let go of the past shit. Got to. Y'all have both done dirt. I see it. Both of you have done stupid things to each other. Both of you have done hurtful things to each other. Both of you have played mind games with each other. Both of you have been manipulative. Both of you have been emotionally unstable. Unstable. Both. All right? Quit pointing fingers at each other. Y'all both need to let it the fuck go. Period. That's what's going on here. Because you both want to run towards each other still. Double five energy in the past. Y'all both being shady. Five is the worst energy in the tarot. That's when all hell breaks loose. Where we have all the conflicts and everything. And then we need to get in that six and start moving past it. Moving our way to the ten. World in reverse on your side here shows me that like this is a lesson and a cycle that keeps repeating itself. That y'all never fucking learn your lesson. All right. Y'all are showing up as the king of wands and a page of swords in the connection. Meaning that like, um, yes, we're going to work on this. Yes, we're interested in each other. Yes, let's talk about this. Um, there's no pentacles here to ground anything though. All right. It's like a great idea in theory and in practice. And there's a lot of magnetic attraction there. And y'all like talking to each other and things like that. But y'all never actually have the hard conversation about what it is that you need to do to like fix this. Both of you are still totally in love with each other. One side's got the sun and the king of cups with the ace of swords coming towards the connection. Like that's the damn truth. This person makes you happy. All right. You want to love them. You want to be a king to them. You want to, you know, be in a relationship with them. They've got the two of cups with the ace of wands super passionate super in love but they've got the problem here is they don't have that you know clarity that you have they've got the two of wands meaning that they're confused all right they have no idea which way to go with this coming up here all right both of you show up like not feeling happy more double fives again you got two fives in the past you got two fives in the near future You've got swords and wands in the past. You've got pentacles and cups in the future. So it shows me like this mental manipulation shit and this petty drama that y'all were going through in the past. Y'all getting back together at some point. <coughs> like you're wanting this person to notice you. All right. So I feel like someone's doing some more petty shit here. <coughs> someone's acting a fool and it's only going to cause more heartbreak. Because you're trying to get the other person to invest in you and see your worth, but they already do, all right? Y'all both do, and I feel like, God, it's like this never-ending game of y'all trying to get back at each other. Like, what the hell is this? <coughs> it's like, oh, so you're going to cheat on me, so I'm going to cheat on you. And they're like, oh, so you're going to um, <coughs> stay out late tonight? I'm going to stay out late tonight. It's like, why, all right? It just never ends. <coughs> Ten of Pentacles here. With the Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Big facts. This person wanted a commitment. All right? They wanted a commitment. They wanted a relationship. They wanted to see this thing through all the way. They wanted to put in the effort here. But they're still engaging in this petty bullshit. And they're the more manipulative one. They very clearly want to be with you and be in a commitment. But they are so mentally... Ugh. The mind games this person plays. Ace of Cups and Reverse, they pretend like they don't give a fuck, all right? They withhold emotions. They don't say how they really feel when they have all these feels. What's with your side? Other side over here, Five of Wands. The World in Reverse with the Page of Swords. What is that about? King of Swords. Two of Cups in Reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. You play games with them too, all right? Both of y'all try to act like you don't give a fuck about each other. Both of y'all try to act like the other one doesn't can't hurt them. Y'all act invincible towards each other when in re all reality, y'all like go home and cry about each other at night. It's like, why y'all do this to each other when you love each other? This is so damn toxic. 
you would rather like lie to them. Yeah, lovers in reverse, judgment in reverse. You'd rather lie to this person. And I'm separating those up because they keep coming out a different way. And I'm flipping them over just to see. Y'all keep lying to each other about how much you love each other and about how much you hurt each other. Two of cups, four of wands in reverse. Lots of love, but no stability. Page of wands and the page of swords in reverse because y'all pop off at the mouth and you say stupid stuff without thinking. And you consistently put yourself in these choices where you're going to have to like defend yourself and like choose. This is being stuck between a rock and a hard place here, not having a good option. The way y'all are petty with each other and go back and forth with this, there it leaves no good options. None. The communication between the two y'all sucks. Y'all both show up like pages all over this board. Grow up. I'm sorry if I'm yelling at you. I give tough love on my channel. All right. I try to tell you how to fix it. And I see two people who love each other very much who uh, also really love, all right, to play games with each other. What's with this King of Cups here? Sun and the Ace of Swords. High Priestess. You're keeping that a secret. But the Nine of Wands. Yes, the hell you are. God. Why? Why are you not telling them how you feel, all right, whoever I'm speaking to? Both of y'all, literally, it, you're in a room together. You act like you hate each other. In all actuality, you want to get married. You talk shit to each other's, you know, friends and family about each other. But at the end of the day, you go home, you think about each other. You're like constantly wanting to get back together with this person. At the same time, you're constantly both hatching these stupid plans to hurt the other one and do something stupid. That song by the far side, I hope you're unhappy. Look up that song. It's called, I hope that you're unhappy by the far side, F-A-R-S-I-D-E. talks about I don't want you to cry any more than I cry just at least as much it's like talking about you know they, they want their hurts to be equal so y'all just keep going back and forth and hurting each other what's the four of cups here for king of wands with the six of swords this person realizes that you're a blessing all right they realize that they're in love with you they realize that this is a gift from spirit that this could be you know a new relationship and they're forcing themselves with the king of wands to put effort into sailing away from you and mentally disconnecting because that's the only way they can bring balance anymore to take care of themselves because this never-ending heartbreak is not stopping because king of cups in reverse we can't be mature about our emotions we can't actually you know get control of them and say what we need to say why is this seven of pentacles here this is frustrating god grow i just want to say grow up <laughs> magician they want this bad bad knight of swords in reverse though they have no idea how to get it None. They're hatching another plan, though. Knight of Swords in Reverse is a manipulative asshole. They're planning another scheme. It's like almost like they're pretending to disconnect and run away from this when they're really not lovers. They want to make this choice, but they're not. They're, they just, like, somebody's got to just, like, swallow their damn pride and say, I love you. Let's just fucking do this and stop. Wave the damn white flags. Both of y'all, get out your white flags and wave them. This is so stupid. Why is the fool here? You're sticking out. Three of Pentacles in reverse. You're acting foolish. Both of y'all, temperance again, trying to, <laughs> trying to get balance back by rejecting what you really love, all right? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Why is the five of uh, cups here? You're only hurting yourselves by doing this, both of y'all. Yeah, hurting yourselves. Sun in reverse. There goes all your happiness. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Becoming unhinged, not grounded, because y'all aren't coming back together. Three of Cups in reverse. Also dealing with third parties. Another page. Speaking immature stuff. Y'all, I'm like, want to cuss y'all out on this reading. Most of these readings have been 20-something minutes, but I don't even want to do this one anymore. This is petty and stupid, all right? Life is effing short, all right? If you guys love each other, like, say that. Quit playing these damn games. This is ridiculous. Both of y'all need to let go of all this stupid stuff that was done in the past. Sit down, you know, laugh about it. Move the fuck on. Stop trying to out-hurt each other or outdo each other. I'm calling it on this one. Yeah, I can't. Death in, that's in the reverse right there. Y'all just keep repeating the same dumb cycle and not learning anything or changing. It's almost like y'all thrive on chaos. Thrive on it, all right? <laughs> Crave it. One person does it more emotionally. One person does it more mentally. One person is more outwardly expressive of it and like um, yelling, crying, throwing a fit, physically doing things. The other person is like mentally just um, a monster. Like will do things to make you feel 
really shitty. I don't know how to explain what I'm feeling here. It's like um, making you think that they're dead or something like that, all right? Or they've been in a car accident, like crazy shit like that, all right? This is some ridiculous soap opera novella shit right here. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Sorry for yelling at you, all right? Check some of my other readings or your other placements if this one didn't resonate. I feel like this is going to be a very few people that this one resonates with. This was a very specific situation. All right, guys, love you. Bye.